Today I'm going to show you what's involved with getting an RV trip wizard map or trip into Google Maps so you could follow it on your phone for example. Once you've got your trip loaded click on the wrench icon then choose send to GPS. Now there's complete instructions on the process I'm about to show you right here with this hyperlink. But step one in that process is to download the GPX file. So when you click on that, if you're downloading with Chrome, you'll see the file in the lower left corner. And either on Mac or Windows, it should end up in your downloads folder. Now from here, we can close this window and we're going to go to our browser and open up another tab and get into Google. Now that we've downloaded the GPX file, we're going to go to Google Maps. Uh, typically, you can just go to the Google home page and if you, if you see your picture or uh, your name, you'll know you're logged in. Uh, it's important to be logged in. Uh, we can also just go to maps.google.com. So we'll just go to our menu and we'll choose our Google Maps icon from here. And we're at the familiar Google Maps. Now we're going to go to the menu. This is often called the hamburger. These three lines here on, on any type of menu it looks kind of like a hamburger. We're going to click on that and we're going to go to your places. We'll click on that and we'll see we have a few options here. One of them is maps. I have one saved map from previous, but I'm going to go down here to the bottom where it says create map. And you'll see I'm not really going to create it, but I'm creating a Google map. That's why it's labeled that way. If I create, uh, excuse me, if I click that, first step I'm going to do is get up here and name this. Okay, we can name it uh, Big Fall Trip, whatever. We want to have some unique name. If you leave it untitled map, uh, it's easy to get confused. Uh, we can add a description if we choose. I choose not to. We're going to hit save. And you can see in the upper left, I have a name. Now I'm going to come down here to import. And if I click on import, I've got two options here. I can drag that GPX file right into this window, or I can select it from my device. I can click on that and then I can choose it from my downloads and it will upload. And just like that, it's done. Uh, that quickly and that easily, the Google Maps trip, uh, excuse me, my RV Trip Wizard trip is now in Google Maps with all the stops that I had predefined. And on any device I choose, I can go to my phone uh, or a GPS enabled tablet or a laptop or whatever it is, and I can pull this trip up under my place. If we want to go look at that map on one of our devices, we log into Google, make sure we're in our account. We go back to Google Maps and you can go there directly. I'm just using this menu. We're in our Google Maps. We click our hamburger, our menu icon. We go to your places again. We go to maps and there's our big fall trip. And just like before, we open it up. It shows you a few of the stops here on the left. We can click this and expand those in detail. And if we were on a phone or mobile device, we could actually start the trip and you know, begin a turn-by-turn -turn, uh, uh, that your Google would provide for you. Look for more of our videos on Facebook and YouTube. Just search for RV Trip Wizard.